Hey, what's up? It's your boy Laurent from Laurent Reviews, and we got a review of another black owned product. Yo, I want to say welcome back to everybody who keep coming back and watching reviews and checking me out. Also, if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button, or you probably watch it before to hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and like this video so we can run the numbers up. You know how the, the algorithm works, so we gotta run the numbers up so we can get these black owned products out there to everybody on these screens so we can support black owned businesses. Know what I mean? All right, so boom, check it. This review we doing right here, it was a review that I wasn't really gonna do, right? But the review guy said, all right, you need to speak on this product. So when the review guys speak to me, from the review heavens, you know what I'm saying? I have to receive the review nicety of the review guys. You know what I mean? Whatever that means. Whatever. Let's still check it. So the review that we're doing this week is on Symphony chips based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Right? I usually don't do too much food too tough, but these chips is like something I need to speak on, right? So I'll be real with you. Um, if anybody who knows me, like you know, know me personally, that been around me a lot, I am a chip. Uh, expert, you know, what I'm saying I'm a chip aficionado. You know, I love potato chips. I just like my thing. I love chips. I just always eat all different types of chips. I like to see different chips. As long as they ain't got no milk in it, you know what I'm saying? Nothing stupid like that. I, I just like to eat chips, you know what I mean? But I love chips. You know, what I'm saying I'm a chip expert, self proclaimed top five that allow chip eater. Like, it's not that many chip eaters that's up there with me, like upper echelon chip eaters in this in this world like myself you know what I mean like I know what I, I know what I am and I'm gonna I'm brag about my chip eating abilities right but anyway to symphony chips I said let me speak on this because since I'm such a high expert on this subject matter I need to speak on it so this is the bag right here all right Try to get it uh -huh. okay all right so I went with the original, you know what I'm saying, I didn't want to jump out the box and get something like, oh, I forgot to have the other flavors they have. What I'm going to do is for y'all, I'm going to put the other flavors that they do have in the um, description box below so you can just see what else they got. But this is the one I got. I got the original. So when I bought it, I was like, alright, cool. It's original, you know what I'm saying? This is all natural, gluten free, no MSG. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the, the basic things that you will want in the food that you eat. But this is called original gourmet season. So I just when I when I saw original, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't read the rest of the circle, right? Because it's still right in the circle. I didn't read the rest of the circle. I just read the original. So I just thought it was like a regular chip. So you know what I'm saying? I'm watching the NBA uh, finals, and I said, "Yo, let me um eat these chips while you know watch the game." Man, I wasn't even into the game. I was into these chips, yo. Like these chips are official. Like this, yo. I ain't gonna lie. As far as chips, these might be the best bag chips I've ever had in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna explain to you why. First thing I didn't like about the chips, but this is all chips, is the excess uh, space in the bag. You know what I'm saying? So like, halfway is the, the actual chip portion of the bag. Another bag is air. I guess it's to keep it fresh. That's what they do, whatever. I mean, that's just the way it goes, right? So this bag of chips right here is a seven ounce bag. It cost me $4.99. I got it at uh, Target. Target, you know, Target's in Atlanta have these chips. If you know, if you didn't notice, Target's starting to have a lot of black-owned um, brands and businesses there. So shout out to Target for that, for helping the movement. You know what I'm saying? But let's get let's get to these chips right here. Um, like I said, I didn't really care for the, the amount of chips that was in the bag, but that's just the game. That's how the game goes. You know what I'm saying? You don't fill a chips to the top. You just don't do that. So. What, besides, I'm not gonna get to the taste, I'm gonna get to the, the actual thing of the chip. It's not like other chips you buy in stores. That's why I said it's kind of like one of the best chips I had. It's not like other chips you buy in stores because you don't feel um, the need to keep eating the chip. You know what I mean? Like, you remember Lay's have they, I bet you can't just eat just one. There's a reason for that. I think it's something in those chips that makes you keep eating them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's so much hidden stuff that you can put into ingredients to keep people eating your product. You know what I'm saying? I think this is not that. And another reason why I said is like, like you can eat these chips. Like you can have like some chips like this on the side of like a sandwich or something. Just have a little plate of chips, and you good. You don't want to keep eating these chips, and that's very appreciative. Like you don't have that too often with chips. Actually, I can't think of another brand of bag chips that I had that 
I could like be satisfied from what I ate with the chips. It's not too much out there like that. That's why I wanted to do a review on this and speak on these chips because that's unusual. You know what I mean? Like it's something that they're doing that's stand out from other chip companies. Like other chip companies be like, all right, I ain't gonna lie. How many of y'all, you know what I'm saying? You watch sports, watch movies, watch a TV show. You can eat a bag of chips without knowing you ate a bag of chips. These, you're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna just eat them. Like, I'm good, I don't need no more. That's, that's kind of, that's, that's impressive. I don't know why that's impressive to me. I, that should be a standard norm, but that's very impressive. Now, let me get into the other part of why this probably pound for pound, the best bag of chips out there in the nation or in the world that I've, I came across. Another thing that I, well, probably definitely a nation because America let, let a lot of different standards come in where, you know what I'm saying, they just let a lot of things slide as far as food, you know what I mean? So, I think this is, this is definitely, you know say one of the, this is definitely one of the best chips. I'm just saying that, you know what I'm saying, just say that to say that. Anyway, so the spices got like onion, garlic salt, ground mustard, parsley, and natural flavors, you know what I'm saying? But the seasoning they did with the chips, it's very unique. It's good. You know what I'm saying? It's very. I don't know, man. This is. This is like, yo. This is one of the best chips, man. I can't even. Can't even get into it, man. This is one of the best chips. This is a good look. Um, I'm putting in the description box a link so I guess you can order the chips. But if you're in the Atlanta area like myself, you could buy these right there at Target, which is also a good look. So I found these at Target at the. Um, the end cap, you know what I'm saying? I went to Target at East Point, the end cap, which, you know, it worked out for me. Um, you know, I seen somebody else post the Target, I think I'll get Buckhead, you can find them actually in the chip out. So this is, you know what I'm saying? Just go to your, your local Target and look for it, you don't see it, ask for it. I bet you they pull out their little phone and be like, yo, these, these chips are that. All right, I'm gonna get to something else that, about these chips, that I wanna speak on how good these chips are, you know what I'm saying? So on Instagram, right? I posted these chips like you can follow my Instagram page. Um, people, you know, I just shot up different businesses and stuff like that on my page. It was a, a comment because I posted these chips twice. So the first time I posted these chips, let me go to the, the actual post so I can only be misquote this person. All right, it's Ja Trey said, "Black people, this the only chip we eat. I don't care if this tastes like whack ass." All right, there's a lot of things to unpack in that sentence, right? Um, all right, black people, it's the only chip that we eat, all right? Cool, I'm, I'm cool with that. Now, we don't care, or he don't care, or she don't care. It's not a, I'm assuming it's a he. Well, what, girl that he has too, so, I, I, you know, it's not a picture of the individual on their profile, it's a picture of Shrek. So, they say, I don't care if it tastes like whack ass. All right. First of all, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm about black empowerment, black businesses, and black economics, and the black dollar and everything. I'm not eating chips that taste like whack ass, right? Then, I want to know, like, what's the, you know, how many asses did you eat to know what whack ass tastes like compared to good ass? So I guess there's a variance of ass that, you know, you, you, you know about, right? Him or her knows about. That's cool. Then, um... My thing is this, the way these chips taste, and they do taste like whack ass, so like say whack ass taste, tastes like the symphony chips, next year for my birthday, this is what I want, right? I want my cake to look like this because if chips taste like this, I am a, a booty eater, right? I'm going to be a booty eater to keep getting that taste, you know what I'm saying? Just in case I can't get my hands on these chips, and I'm not, you know, say like I'm doing a cleanse, I can't eat the chips, but I want the taste, if whack ass, I got to find some whack ass to eat. Pause. Then I gotta, you know, what I'm saying, eat the, eat the whack ass to get the flavor. And I want that. I want this to be my um my <laughs> my appreciation to that taste. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. So I appreciate y'all. Um, if you like what you just see, hit the like button. Um, shout out to Symphony Chips. Make sure you get yourself a bag of Symphony Chips because Symphony Chips are a good taste of chip. I don't think it tastes like whack ass. And if it did taste like whack ass. Uh, Just Trey says they don't care. This is the only chip that black people should eat. But luckily, it don't taste like whack ass. I'm not a whack ass eating expert. I'm a chip expert, so I'm gonna leave that to other people who you know 
eat whack ass or regular ass or superb ass or whatever ass you like to eat. That's that's on you. But that's you know say that's what you want to do. So like I said, hit that subscribe button. Check out my website www.laron.reviews.com where I put blogs weekly up about different black owned products and the importance of a black owned product or why we should get behind this black owned product and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys. Alright, so, so till next time. Peace. <laughs>